Hi, my name is Mr. D and today I want to take a look at dividing decimals. So we have simplified the following expression and we're looking at 786.76 divided by 5.2. So with dividing decimals you want to make sure that the divisor on the outside is in the form of a whole number. And Notice right away that we have 5.2. What we would like out there is 52. But the thing is, to transform 5.2 into 52, we need to move this decimal one place over to the right. So if we move this decimal one place over to the right, we have to move this one one place over to the right. And just really quick, the concept of why we need to do that is, well, notice 786.76 over 5.2 would be the fraction form of this division problem. But by moving this decimal one place over to the right, we're really multiplying it by 10. But if we multiply the denominator by 10, we have to also multiply the numerator by 10. Otherwise, we're changing the value of the problem. This is a lot like the concept of equivalent fractions. Whatever you do to the denominator, you have to do to the numerator, whichever number you're choosing to multiply by. So that's the concept here, that we're multiplying the top and bottom by 10. So that means if we move this decimal one place over, we're dividing 52 into 700, oh, I'm sorry, 78. 67.6. So all that happened was the decimal moved over once, and the reason why we could do it, it has a lot to do with equivalent fractions. Okay, but now that we have this, we're going to treat this like a division problem. 52 will not go into 7, so we have to look one more place over. 52 will go into 78, and if you use estimation strategies, we're going to keep the number 50 in our head. Instead of 52, and think counting by 50s is a lot like counting by 5s, so 50 will go into 78 and it'll go in once and if we multiply by 1, 1 times 52 is 52 so we subtract 52, 8 minus 2 is 6, 7 minus 5 is 2 and we have a remainder of 26 but now we have to carry down this 6 and we have 266 but this is where like I said the estimation comes in if you think in terms of 5's, 5 times 5 is 25 so 50 times 5 would be 250. So if we pick 5, we know that's going to bring us as close as possible to 266. And multiplying 52 times 5, we multiply this out, 5 times 2 is 10, carry the 1, 5 times 5 is 25, plus 1 is 26, we're going to get 260. So that tells us we're going to subtract 5 times 52, or we're subtracting 260. And we have a remainder of 6 now. I'm just going to make this, these numbers up here a little bit darker and neater. So we have 1 and a 5. So this remainder of 6, but remember, each time we divide and then subtract, we have to carry down the next number. Here like this. So we're carrying down a 7 now. So notice, once we subtracted 260, we had a remainder of 6, but then we bring down the next number which is 67, but now estimating 52 will go into 67 only once, because if we went twice, it would bring us to 104, which would go past 67. So our next number we're writing up top is 1. Okay, and if we do 1 times 52, we get 52. And the remainder is going to be 7 minus 2 is 5, 6 minus 5 is 1. We have a remainder of 15, but before we bring the next number down, Notice that we have to go past the decimal. So now we're going to kind of, in some ways, bring this decimal up. We bring it straight up. So we know we're going to bring this to right in front of the 1. So now we have 151 point, and we're going to find out the rest of our answer. But since we have our remainder, remember, every time you get your remainder, you carry down the next number. So we're carrying down the 6. And think about 52 goes into 156. Like I said, Use your estimation strategy, 52 is close to 50, and if you did 50 times 3, that would be 150. So we could estimate and say that 3 is going to go here, and we'll see how close we could get. We do 3 times 52, and if your mental math isn't quite there yet, we'll work this out. But we'll see 3 times 2 is 6, 3 times 5 is 15, we get exactly 156. So when we subtract the 156, we have a remainder of 0, which tells us that we're done. That we found our answer 
is 151.3. So to the original problem, 786.76 divided by 5.2 is 151.3. Okay, well this is going to conclude this video on dividing decimals. Thank you all for watching and I hope that this was helpful.